So do I need to get on too? <laughs> get all of us? Is it safe? Okay, I had just or er, this is where we did the swimming. Okay, you have to go back and watch our other Alaska videos in the summer. We swam across this and raced. And we can walk. You wanna play hockey? Really? Oh yeah. Okay, this is fun out here. Hey, careful. Nancy? <laughs> Bad, bad, bad. Oh, soft powers, too. Oh. Baby Troll, what are you doing? Here. Here's oh. Come in. How are you? Oh, my hands are so cool. I know, my hands are so cool. Okay, so I was born in Santa Rosa, California, California. in 1990. We moved here when I was two months old because of this on our left. <laughs> the Nanelchik. The Nanelchik. Inlet View Lodge. Inlet View Lodge, okay. So this is what, this is what brought my family here because my dad had bought this in 1990 and uh, it, earlier, like when we were younger, there was like cabins back there. It was actually like a lodge, like small cabins. Uh, it used to be really, uh, it's like the only bar in town really. So it used to be super popular. Uh, but then as the years got on, the population in the Elfix kind of dropped a little bit. So there was my brother, Hunter. Hey, <laughs> who? Talk about Brother Hunter. Brother Hunter, the first celebrity in our family. Before me, before you. Yeah, was on the Deadliest Catch for a few years. Uh -huh. So, uh, pretty cool. Just, yeah, professional cat fisherman. But this is what brought my family to, to Alaska. The of Alaska. The in Olympia. Olympia. And we have had a few nice, we fun have nights had a in few there. Fun nights there. Yeah. I could probably put some it's highlight still, videos. Yeah, in. it's still like, uh, <laughs> it's still up and running. But I think, well, for one, with COVID, and then. To the winter is usually always dead, so there's not really yeah. many people in there. Maybe when it, this weekend we'll try to go down there. Yeah, maybe. I think it is only open on the weekends right now. Uh, the the bar part, I believe. Mean, so so yeah. cool. Maybe we'll try it. That's what made you We're an Alaska boy. Yeah. Going across the street. <laughs> Nanilchik Village, well down there. And this was the first, this was the first place in Nanilchik. This is what Nanilchik originally was. And then as years gone by, up there has uh, been, there's been infrastructure and houses and slowly moved um, but then all up there used to just be the woods and all that. And this was all that Minotic was. And down there, that red house, that's the closest to the river. It's got boarded windows. I used to live, we lived there for a couple of years. And then 
over there was my wrestling, my late wrestling coach, who has since passed away. But okay, question: How yes. many people were on your wrestling team in high school? Uh, or when I was a freshman, there was more, but then by the time I was a senior, really only me. And I would, uh, my main training partner was actually like a 70 year old, uh, man who until my senior year could, uh, beat me, he'd take me down. Uh, but he was an alternate on the Olympic team and was, a uh, really good. He's still doing well. Actually, I just shouted him out at, uh. It, my last Bellator fight, we gave him a, a little shout out. So he's still alive, doing well. Uh, but yeah, really, we would travel. My coach would take me to Soldatna or take me down to Homer, and because those are like big schools, and and I would practice sometimes with those guys. But really, for the most part, just by myself, and and then Ilchik, really crazy. So, and then look where you've come where you've gone yeah I mean, a lot of it was just uh just having to drive i guess not really making excuses for anything how many times of a state champ were you two times two times state two champ, times state champ. Yeah. and what did you do in college and i won nationals in college and then i've since gone on to fight and i've done well in fighting but I will say one of my main training partners were these stairs right over here. <laughs> I run down into the village and I would just do sets of stairs to get my cardio good and, and I guess like my mental fortitude. It, you know, I'd be cold and stuff. It wouldn't be a desirable time to run, but I'd still go and do it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to interview you <laughs> to see how you feel about all this. Okay. So this is like your, I don't even know how many Maybe times you've been or here. Sixth time here. Yeah. Because we came here four times last year. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now this is the first time you've been here at this time of the year, and I, in in my opinion, this time of the year is a little, a little different because there's not a ton to do because there's not a ton of snow on the ground yet. Obviously, it's not summer, so. But it's cold. Yeah, but so what do you think? Obviously, this is one of my very favorite places to come because it's special to you, and it's where you grew up. Yeah. And our family is here. Yep. And I love it because I grew up in a small town, and this is—it's got the same like small town feel, but it's got the ocean and it's got snow, and in the summer it's beautiful. Yeah, we. We love being down here. So we're in the village right now. We're the Cook Inlet out there. And she is interviewing me about... Yeah, this is supposed to be a documentary about who is Austin Vanderford. Who is Austin Vanderford. So now that you've been here, is it kind of funny to see where I'm at now? Uh, yes. <laughs> Compared to where I grew up? To see this guy with... Um, a neck tattoo. <laughs> I don't mean like that. No. I mean. Um, no, this fits you perfectly because the reason I fell in love with you when I met you yeah. is because you were a gentleman and you loved your mom and you loved your family and you did have the small town values uh, with like the big city ambition. Yeah. So yeah. you wanted to work I feel hard. like I still do, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. That's why I I fell in love with you. I was yeah. ambitious. You wanted to be a champion. You wanted to be successful. 
but you were humble and down to earth and really cute. <laughs> okay, continue with that. Okay, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> that, that could get us into, yeah. But yeah, it's so nice, such a nice day out today. So, okay, we're down in the village. We're gonna make our way back up. The infamous stairs that I used to do all my workouts on. We got our and coffee at the Buzz. Yep. We had Thai food yesterday from King Cow. We went to the Ivy this morning. Or you got to look at it. Yeah, but hopefully we'll have a fun night in yeah. the Ivy. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, all right, up the infamous stairs that husband would train on when he was in high school. Actually, and we do these every summer too. Every time we're here, we do the stairs. Go back. We, we post the. Uh, yep. Video. Go back and watch our Alaska videos. You'll see these stairs. little bit chillier today than the last few days and the road is very very icy but we have been making sure that we get outside <sighs> ah! since you can't work out yet with because of his arm we did a five mile loop or a five mile walk one day a six mile walk yesterday now we're out doing another one today, and then me and his sister have been going, they have a health club here, and we've been working out every day on top of that too. So trying to keep working out and stay in shape, especially because tomorrow, uh, which is Thanksgiving day, we're that like crazy annoying uh, family that we go do a, we're gonna go do a 5K tomorrow on Thanksgiving. So we're gonna go wake up and Go do a little race out here in the freezing cold, um, and then go back and make make Thanksgiving dinner and watch football and spend time together. But we're getting our workouts in. Hey, yeah, because when I get back, I go into right in a fight camp. <laughs> 